Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to be looking at a storage solution for Merchant's Cove from Final Frontier Games. And uh, the base game itself fits perfectly fine in the box. If you only have the base game or and the um, Merchant's Cove uh, secret stash here, these both are made, designed, and everything to fit in the base game insert. And it's great for that. The problem you run into is when you add in the Dragon Rancher character, the Oracle character, and the Innkeeper character. All that content in this one little box does not, it's not really a little box, but it doesn't actually work very well. And you can probably get one of these characters in there uh, without much trouble. I see a lot of people, what you can really do if you want to squeeze and keep the original insert is you can actually fit everything from these three boxes in this little box and then put the player boards and things in the bigger box, which does cause a little bit of lid lift, but that works too. This is a full um, insert that replaces everything. And I like the way it works. You could probably save a little bit of it and um, use some of the components that already exist, like the tray that holds the ships is really nice in the base game. You probably don't need to replace that one. So that said, in this, we, have, we do have a little bit of lid lift, you can see there. But that's getting all seven characters in the box and all of their components. So everything is in here. The only thing I do not have in there is the secret from the secret stash. Spoilers, you can skip ahead if you don't want to know. But I think the spoilers pretty much been shown by now. But you can remedy this by removing the bottom of the box and storing the board in there. Uh, I really do hope that they do come out with like a, a $5 little expansion pack that comes with the board standard size and standard quality there. I would definitely be interested in picking that up and I'm sure a lot of other people would too. But That said, we're going to open this up and take a look at what we got. So first thing here, this is really what lifts the lid is the um, books and player boards. But we have the map on top. We have the Secret Stash and Solo Scenario Book. Again, if you take the Solo Scenario Book out, that probably lower it down just a bit. Uh, if you're not playing solo, you really don't need that in the box. Secret Stash Box has all the special rules for the stuff from that, so that you probably want to keep. And our main rule book. And then like I said here, here's our player boards for all seven players. including the peddler so technically there's eight and this is where things get a little weird i store my box on the side so things may have shifted a little but i don't think they have first thing is all of our player guides for all the various different players so they're all stashed here we have all of the um, staff boards for all the different players i do wish these actually were marked on what player they go to. Most of them are pretty obvious. That's for the Alchemist, that's for the Oracle. I think the only one that's not easy to tell right off the bat is the Chronomancer, and I only know that because I played that one last. But then we get into the actual insert itself. There was no real place to put the spinner. I think the original design, I actually took somebody else's design that was on Thingiverse and customized it a little. Uh, I'm going to link to their design in the description, but I've changed it up a bit so you can see here. But um, they had a spot for this on top of the ship boards, which are or a ship tray, which is down underneath. It would probably still work there. I just didn't stick it there. I'll have to see if that fits, but I keep it right there so it's all together. But uh, first thing we have here is this small tray, and this is actually the blacksmith tray. And I think I can't really tell on these, but. Uh, these actually have the name of the characters written at the bottom. I'll have to show you on the other ones because this one's pretty packed. But um, My wife packed this one up last time, so it's not quite as neat as I had it. But even she managed to get everything in here 
and fit within the box. So it, it's a nice nice way to hold everything. You can see the display there in the bottom. All the dice go on top and then all the various uh, goods that you sell on top of that. Next to that we have this long tray and this is for the innkeeper and this actually fits the table here is upside down it's actually almost the exact size of the table and then there's room for your beds and all your uh, drinks in here as well as the um, meeple characters that go with the or the extra meeples that go with the uh, innkeeper uh, next to that we just have a small um, one for the small boat from the secret stash. This is literally just tucked in between some other stuff to keep it safe. We have this card box that actually has dividers in there. Fits sleeved cards too, which is awesome. And um, the top ones here are our rogue cards. Then there's a divider. Then you have, I think these are the island. Uh, no, these are the ship layouts. If you're using the extra ships from the... Uh, secret stash and then the last one are our actual character cards so you have the various different characters that you can play but yeah they all fit nice in here even sleeved which I think is cool there is not a lot of room for expansion though so if uh, they come out with more stuff which I'm not sure if we'll see or not. You would be hard pressed to fit anything else in here though. But there is a little bit of space in there for the, if you can see on the end there, for the cards from the Kickstarter booster pack that I have not put in yet. On to our next thing. We have this one here has uh, more stuff from the secret stash the rogue goods or whatever they're called and the faction leaders and i don't think this had its own tray in the one this is actually an extra token tray so if you're trying to make this from the links in the description that's what that one is uh next thing we have here this big tray, and I considered if this could be replaced with the uh, secret stash box, but it is a little bit bigger, so that probably won't work. I was trying to work a way to keep this inside there, but uh, this is the oracles tray, and everything for the oracles right there. It's in there with room to spare, actually. This is one of those that could probably be adjusted a little, but the table is an odd shape, so... We'll have to see. This is wearing pretty good, uh, pretty fast too on the edge here. I'm not sure. But uh, nothing to do with the storage. That's just from gameplay because this actually sits below the top of the box. So if people were wondering. And inside this tray, we have a little token box here with a lid. And this one is nice for all of your. Um, Points trackers and time tokens, all that stuff goes right in there. It just slots in the corner there. This next tray is the captain, so that's why I keep this on there. Like I said, they, there's a spot made for it down here, and we'll see if it fits in there. I just didn't try for some reason. But the captain's tray has the captain, all of her boats, and coins there. All of her goods are actually stored inside just like you did in the original inside the, um, the actual display stand and then you have a spot here for the banners the insert actually had a separate uh, thing for the banners but I eliminated it to make more room for uh, the extra characters in here and we got extra cards and stuff from the uh, secret stash on top of here and inside this is the chronomancer's tray you have the display here with the various goods poured around it and all the uh, tokens there. And then I think the 
bottomless tray I kept relatively the same. These are completely in a different order than the, the new one I'm going to be linking to because I had to rearrange everything to make it all fit. So I keep forgetting how to put it back together myself. But this half of it stayed the same. So up here we have the uh, tray for all of our amoeba. And they do not fit in there in the bag, but they didn't in the original anyway. You have to take them out so you can pick through the uh, brogues depending on how you're setting up anyway. But then the bag sits neatly on top, folded over. So that's pretty much exactly how it was in the other one. This was the other thing I was saying, this tray here with the boats. I think you may be able to keep the original tray for this if you want to save some time printing. I'm not sure if it's taller. I'll have to compare that, but... Um, they have these separated out. So here's your six main boats from the main game. Doesn't matter which one goes where. Although looking at the holes, you would think this would be the front and this would be the back. They're actually reversed from what you'd think. They won't fit in the other way. Well, okay, so that one does. But some of them won't. And uh, you'll frustrate yourself trying. So keep in mind that, yeah, the, the rounded part is the back end. And the squared off front is the front of the boats. And um, they all fit in there. Like I said, you can put any one in any slot. And they have reinforcements here in the middle so that it doesn't get crushed. And this is actually where the spinner is supposed to go. It's supposed to fit right in there. And it does sit below the lip, so I'm probably going to store it there. Because that's actually where it's supposed to go anyway. And it give a little bit extra um, security to the boats there from being crushed. Got to give myself more room here. Then we have another tray for the larger boats. Again, same same idea. The uh, they go in backward from what you would think, and um, the fronts go in these bubble areas here, so you can put either one in either spot. That one doesn't have a raised support in the middle, which is kind of a shame. And I think it should have one there just to prevent anything from squishing that too. But it all depends on how you stack the stuff on top of it. Next up, we have our corruption cards, and I have these actually split out into the different um, sets. And like you have your your um, more advanced ones that came with the secret stash, and your more basic ones that came with the base game. So they're both in there back to back. Plenty of room for expansion in that as well. So you can add more cards to that later. And again, those are sleeves. These are even oversized sleeves because I couldn't find the right size. So. They hang over a little bit, but uh, those fit in there just fine. Then we have another of that exact same tray, and then this is for our villagers. And again, I have these split up by the different types so that you can mix and match your different villagers when you play. Then we have this smaller pack here, and this is for the solo cards. So you have, uh, I'm not sure what those ones are called, but you have the um, the basic solo cards on one side and the other ones from the uh, Secret Stash on the other. And then we have a gem tray. It actually says gems in the bottom. Uh, this one I would prefer to change a little bit. I haven't gotten around to it. There's a taller version that had a lid for the flags, I think it was, which I didn't end up using. Um, a lid for this would be nice because I do store the game outside and there's a chance of them falling out. Luckily, everything's been packed together pretty good. I haven't had them fall out yet, but uh, that's something to look into is possibly getting a lid for that one. And the next one we have down here is the Alchemist Tray. And uh, this actually will store with the marbles in the bag, unlike the original insert where you had to take them out. The uh, display shelf here with all the goods piled in front of it. And again, everything fits in there nice and below the, uh, the lip so nothing squishes anything. This last tray was a complete addition uh, that wasn't in that original. And he accidentally included these. These were from when he was originally making the tray for the boats. He had this one set up. And... It was included in there on accident. He meant to delete it, and it wasn't wasn't deleted. And I think it's included now on purpose. But it perfectly fits everything from the Dragon Rancher. You tuck your uh, food pellets in the bag right into this here. And this fits perfectly on top into the little holes as a lid. 
The only catch is that because of the way it sits, it does sit up a little bit on the top, but that's not really an issue since this is the bottom. It doesn't matter if it gets scuffed. And um, the stuff sitting on it still fits perfectly fine. So, But that tray was listed, yeah, something in this large boat tray, I think. I'm not sure if it got renamed, but that's how it ended up working out. And um, yeah, everything fits in here very nicely. That was one of the ones I added that weren't in the original design. And then, like I said, some of these have been rearranged a little bit. So you have the Dragon Rancher, the Alchemist. The card packs go up here. Doesn't matter which order, as long as they're there. The gems fit here in the end. That one's a little bit of a tight fit, um, but they do all fit there. I tried doing it in various configurations, but that seems to work the best right across there. And then uh, the meeple and the boats. Here, I'm trying to remember myself how this all goes back together. And I'm sure someone will point out that I'm putting something in a different place because I seem to do that every time I put this together. But I got that there. I'm remembering this. Big tray, I think, goes here. Nope, this is where I start for yet. <laughs> I had him in there. Uh, the elk, or the uh, blacksmith goes in this corner like that. Oh, these go here. This boat works its way in there somewhere. These work their way in here somewhere. I don't think it matters where they go. It's a matter of squeezing these two in somehow. <laughs> it's a terrible unboxing here. Putting it back in the box. I swear that's how they went. Maybe this goes like this. Aha! I figured it out. And then our boat can go in there. There we go. I think I have these two backward from the way they were somehow, but... Because I'm pretty sure I had the captain in the middle. But they work either way. Because I had the captain's compass on it. Yeah, I had these two switched last time, but they work either way. And then again, these can go back in here. If you lay these flat across, the box lid will sit lower. Uh, if you double stack them up, you know, like that one will fit there. I think you have to double stack a couple, but still working on that logistics. But everything fits in here, which is the intended goal of this idea. And uh, I generally put the peddler on bottom since it's one of the larger ones, and the innkeeper, and the rest can stack on top of that. However, rule book. And like I said, you could leave the solo player rules out if you don't um, do the solo stuff, and that'll save you a little bit of space. Board on top, box lid on there. And that's everything back in the box. And like I said, you have a little bit of lid lift on there. Not too bad. I store the game up on its side anyway. And everything in there stays nice too, which is very nice. I found this and three of the expansion boxes fit perfectly on one of my shelves. Uh, there is sadly just not enough room for the secret stash in in. Like the space left is only like this, so it just falls short. So I usually stick this behind them. Uh, again, the only thing you need out of the secret stash that's in here is the bottom of the box. And you can cut that off. If you don't want to destroy your box, just do what I've been doing lately and storing it next to it. But I think eventually I'm going to cut that off just to uh, condense things. If you're like me and you keep your old boxes, uh, I keep most of my old boxes just in case I ever get rid of anything. Um, I kept the original trays in case I ever wanted to do, get rid of the game or sell it to someone and they didn't want my insert. The original inserts are in here. Mm -hmm. I think oh, that one has the original uh, cardboard inserts from these. So this one has the other uh, boat trays. In the old suggested formats. We got a couple extra oddball things in here. Um, but yeah, I kept everything from the original. 
like I said, this chip um, tray may work. Uh, I think it's almost exactly the same size as the other one. So if you want to save yourself some uh, time in printing, uh, you can use this tray. The meeples go in here. So instead of having these as two separate trays, it's all one tray, but everything works there. This tray was actually amazing, and I wish there was a way I could have found a way to keep it. I may still try to uh, mess around with that. Um, the cards in here were perfect. These slots here were plenty for all the different decks and expansions. This one for the tokens was a little bit small, but uh, if you could find a way to fit these two in there, uh, maybe a lot of plastic and printing time to keep those and uh, use this one instead. That's again why I kept those in case I ever changed my mind on anything. And uh, a bunch of people were asking about the extra tokens in one of my other videos. And these are slightly off-centered, you can see. So they gave you new ones and replacement ones. I think the other one's in the Oracle box because there was one in that too. But anyway, that is a look at everything I have for my insert for Merchant's Cove. You can post your thoughts and comments below. As I said, there'll be a link to this, um, the files for this in the description. And again, I've customized it a little bit from what's in the, uh, the files there, but should be everything you need in those files. Uh, look through them because you don't need to print everything unless he's changed it because there were like two different flag things. There were two different gem things and I think two different token things. You did not need all of them. So, and then again, the, the large boat tray, which I used for the Dragon Rancher. So you'll have to look through and see what's in there, but definitely pay attention to what you're printing so you don't print extra trays. I have a couple extra that I printed I didn't need and I'm hopefully gonna be able to use them for something else. I think I even used one for, some, for another game already, so. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for our look at my Merchant's Cove storage. Hope it helps you out, and I hope it uh, gets you to the point where you can pack everything into one box. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.